a nautilus. It spends its days hiding 400 metres down, but as night falls, it ascends up to the reefs to look for food. Its graceful shell contains gas-filled flotation chambers that control its depth. It's powered by a jet of water squirting from a siphon. But it travels shell first, so it can't see exactly where it's going. Its nearest living relatives are squid and octopus, which over evolutionary time have both lost their shells. And the octopus has become one of the Nautilus's major predators. It's a master of disguise. The Nautilus keeps well clear of them. Its small tentacles carry highly developed chemical sensors which can detect traces of both predators and prey. It uses its water jet to dig in the sand. Because it devotes so little energy to swimming, it only needs a meal once a month. Got something. And just as well, dawn is approaching and it has to puff its way back to deeper waters. This is intriguing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're all gathering, but first there was one sea scorpion, then there was another, then another, then another. And now they are all around me. There's a whole carpet of them moving along the sea floor. They're whizzing past my head. They're all heading in one direction. And there it is. It's an author cone. biggest predator that the world has seen up until this time. He, he sensed me here, getting my heart hammering. I don't want to be grabbed by those tentacles, but those simple eyes, they should shun the light. So all I can do is start flashing my light and maybe that will discourage him. And now he's gone, I can't see where he is. There's still the sea scorpions there. There! There's the author coat. And it spotted one of the sea scorpions. They're dragged back to the mouth. There's a horny beak. Oh, you can hear it. I can actually hear it under the water. Hear the crunching sounds as the sea scorpions are crushed by the beak. These author cones probably spend a lot of time in deep water. Light doesn't penetrate too well down there, so the eyes don't work very well and they rely on another sense. They will actually smell out their prey and then crush them to bits. The author cone, that really is the top predator of artificial times. It's not swimming very fast. If I can catch up. There. Ah, uh, yes. Right onto the tip of the shell. It's a wonderful texture. And I am hitching a ride on the back of an author cone. Hey! As it got gloomier, I realized the author cone was dragging me deeper. Time to get off. Thanks, author cone. Thanks for the ride. Every 
summer, visitors come to the shallows around Tasmania. These are Australian squid, about half a metre long. They are here to breed. The larger males compete for the attentions of a female, displaying towards her and to one another by putting on a ballet, during which they continually change the colour of their costumes. is a packet of sperm across to the female. After the eggs have been fertilized, they're deposited in tough rubbery egg cases that other creatures find poisonous. Within three weeks, the babies are ready to hatch out. already able to change colour, but they're not quite so good at swimming. <laughs> 